For more MTG resources and articles, check out paperchampion.net. Okay, so we are playing 8-Rack today. Good luck, high five. Yes, I'd like to go first. And let's see what we have in hand here. So a Godless Shrine, it's not bad. Um, you know, I, uh, a one lander is tough to keep, but the rest of the deck looks pretty good and I'll have something to do in the first two turns. So let's take a risk and keep it. Okay, so turn one, I'll do Godless Shrine untapped. Okay, so yes. Okay, tie for black and duress my opponent. See what he's playing. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, this is pretty awful. So he's got two lands. He'll be able to be able to get a goif out. All right, so let's get rid of his Mishra's bottle. Okay, and go. Good thing I can just destroy his Tarmogoyf with a Victim of Night. So he's cycling Street Wraith. Okay. Inverting Catacombs. Tap. Okay, so sack that. He's going to grab Overgrown Tomb. Okay, coming in. Thoughtseize. All right. He's going to take my Rack, probably, or my Ensnaring Bridge. All right. All right, so turn two, let's see. Let's uh, put out God the Shrine. Would you like to pay two life? Yes. Okay, and I will tap two for Dark Confidant. Okay, get some card advantage going. Okay, because the problem is right now I've got no discard stuff. So I've got the rack to deal damage, but I don't have any discard. So my opponent probably will play out a Tarmogoyf. No, Thoughtseize, probably going to take the rack. I'm actually okay with it. Dark Confidence likely, likely to get me another one. Uh, Victim of Night's probably a good one to keep in my hand anyways, to get rid of any of his creature threats. <laughs> okay, and Bolt. All right. All right, so let's go... Hmm. Let's just keep it at that here. So let's just pass. Okay, so I want to keep the land in hand in case I get... In case I get a... Uh, okay, in case I get a... Um, a Raven's Crime. Okay, so... Let's see, step links... I hate that thing. All right, so let's put this out. So he, I'm gonna let him do a little bit of damage to me here. I'll throw out another Dark Confidant. Okay, now my opponent's gonna know I've got two Victim of Night in my hand. So if you play something really bad, I, I'll just take a few beats, but I'll be able to destroy it in the end. Okay, so, hmm, he has it become immense. I think I'll just keep it. I'll just leave it. And yeah, I'm probably going to have to take some damage here. Does it become immense? So he's going to dredge for it? Yep. All right, well, I'll have to take a bit of damage. Unfortunately, I didn't get another land, so I couldn't, like, leave up a Victim of Night. But that's all right. Okay, so always yield. Okay, another Goth Shrine. All right, well. Let's say... Yes, I'd like to pay that. Now, it brings me into double bolt range, but we'll see where I can get with this. Might as well swing with Dark Confidant. Okay. 
So my my opponent's gonna what attack? Okay, so no block. See so paying costs, mutagenic growth. Okay, I will victim of night. Okay, and well, that's pretty good. Two for one. Is he going to cast something on his second main phase? Tarmogoyf? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Now, do I get rid of the Goyf here? No. I'll wait for him to attack with it. Okay, so that's actually pretty good. Grabbing a smallpox and... Okay, so what I want to do is I'll pay two for smallpox. Okay, so each player is going to lose a life, discard a card, sacrifice a creature. So I'll discard a... Uh, he's going to have a lot of great creatures. I think I'll discard a blackmail. I'm likely to get another discard another discard card. Okay, I'll sacrifice Dark Confidon. That'll stem the bleeding from life there. Okay, I'll sacrifice a Swamp. Alright, so puts my opponent on one land, one card in hand. Okay, now I just gotta start finding a Shriek. If I find a Shrieking Affliction or um, or anything like that, then pretty much got this. If I can, if I can do something like that. All right, so let's go tap, tap, and tap for stupor. Okay, so keep my opponent off cards. All right. So he didn't have any creatures. That's all right. And any creatures he puts out, I can pretty much get rid of. He doesn't have the mana to cast a bolt. So this is actually looking okay for me as long as I can find something good. Ugh, swamp is not something good. All right, well, let's go then. Pass turn. Okay, so my opponent, is he gonna cast something? Two cards in hand. Raven's Crime, all right. Well, let's tap one for Raven's Crime. So discard a card. Thought sees, all right. Now anytime I get a land, I can use that to get rid of his cards there. So that's, now that's good, because land turns into discard for me. I just need to get a Shrieking Affliction or a Rack. Oh, the Dark Confidant is a risky play. I don't think I'm gonna play him, mainly because he's gonna do damage to me. He might just, he could just kill me outright. So, all right. Ah, oh, damn it! Yeah, let my opponent build up his land, his hand again. Okay, so come on, shrieking affliction. Yes. All right. So if my opponent plays anything, gets down to if he ever gets down to one card. Yes. All right. Managed to squeak out a win there. Whew. Oh, that was a lucky one. A very good match. Um, okay, so what's going to help me here? Um, he's just got like a lot of really good things. So, Ensnaring at the Bridge I think is really good. Um, Languish would actually be pretty good. So, Languish is going to be pretty good. What do I need to get rid of to put that in? Victim of Night's going to be really good. I think hmm, Dark Confidant was pretty good. Augur of Skulls can come out. Stupor was actually really good. Um, actually, all the discard is good. Uh, I think Duress might come out. Well, Duress, uh, non-creature. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, and maybe one Dark Confidant. All right, for a bunch of Languishes. All right, we'll see where we go with that. 
Ooh, a tough battle here. Yeah, that was a, a, a bear a bear win. Okay, so another one lander. Um, we have to play Dakmore Salvage tapped, but then I can play Raven's Crime and Blackmail. So I think, well, let's try and keep it and see what happens. So Windswept Heath, tap. He's probably going to get, oh, okay. I thought for sure he was going to get uh, like something that cast the thoughts he's against me. Wild the Coddle Heart. Ugh. Okay, actually, that's not bad. Um, hmm. Do I play a Dakmar Salvage and take a beating from Wild Nacatl? Yeah, I think I need to. Um, mainly because I'm going to need those two lands. I can't, aff I can't afford to discard the lands just so quickly, like so early. So, all right. So he's looking at a top card. So draw an extra card. Okay. Oh. Okay, so playing out a bunch of stuff. He's going to grab um, something of the mountain. Yeah, Sacred Foundry. Okay. So I can take a beating from a 3-3. Three, three. But next turn I can actually cast Smallpox. That's interesting. Why did he cast that? Is that just a, a punt? Oh, is he trying to bring it back later in the graveyard? Weird. All right, well. Okay, so Mishra's Bauble's giving him a turn. Or an extra card, okay. Oh, okay, Isolated Chapel's actually pretty good. So let's go um, Swamp. And we'll tap and we'll go Smallpox. Okay, so discard a card. I will discard. Um, let's see, Raven's Grime. If I discard Raven's Grime, I can still play it. Okay, hang on. Yeah, my opponent says that that, that uh, Death Shadow was actually supposed to be a Thoughtseize. I was like, yeah, anyways, I was like, oh my god, what, what, what happened there? Um, yeah, that was, yeah, uh, unfortunately, probably just clicked the wrong card by accident. All right, so let's go discard Raven's Crime. Okay, because I can still cast that uh, from the graveyard. Okay, so get rid of Wild Nacatl. I'll sacrifice Dakmore Salvage, because I can still get that back from my hand. Okay. Um, and then let's see here. I want to see my opponent's graveyard. Okay. And I already played a second land, so I can't do anything else. All right. So we set everything back here a bit. Oh, that would have totally changed the game if he had had a, if he had been able to thought seize me there with that other one. Oh man. That would just suck, because he also gave up like a great creature. So, what's he going to take? I think I would take Dark Confidant. Probably, uh, yeah, because it just eliminates my card draw. So, let's see what we have here. Do I want to deck more Salvage? Um, yes. Okay. So, I'm going to play Isolated Chapel. Then I will tap for black and do blackmail. So let's see what he has in hand. Wanda Coddle, Thoughtseize. Okay, so let's get rid of Wild Nacatle. Okay, and then we will recur Raven's Crime. Tap and throw a Dakmore Salvage. Okay, he's going to have to get rid of Okay, his team or battle rage. All right, so he's going to be able to thought see his next turn. Okay, thought sees how it will take only languish or victim of night. Okay, so he doesn't have any creatures to get rid of anyways right now. Okay, so 
all right, come on. Now I need a, I need something to start hurting him. Uh, let's go cancel because he doesn't have any cards in hand. Uh, Godless Shrine. All right. Nope. And go. All right. So land. Everyone's just rebuilding. Cancel. Swamp. All right. So now I'm up. I have enough mana to cast Language if he puts anything out. Okay. So Bloodstained Mire. Okay, so he's gonna get something. Oh, if I can get a rack out, it'd be awesome. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess I'll just wait and languish this guy. Do I just do it now? No, I can take a one. Okay, let cancel. Oh, swamp. All right, pass. Okay, because I can always languish the uh, Monastery Swift Spear later. He's probably not going to be able to get anything anything huge out. Okay, so... I'm going to start pinging me one a turn. Cancel. Victim of Night. All right. All right, it's nice to get the creature removal. But I could really use an, a, one of my racks. Like an, a rack is going to close out this game pretty quick. Especially because, oh, I should have actually Ravens crimed him. All right, all right. So let's go one Inquisition of Kozilek, Phyrexia on life and Ancient Grudge. All right. Okay, so let's get an Ancient Grudge destroys artifacts. All right. Um, well, it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna th I'm gonna duress him anyways. All right, so let's go uh, tap one. Raven's crime against him, discarding a swamp. Okay, and go. All right, so I know I still have the two mana. I can still I can still duress him, or sorry, not duress, uh, languish him, or yeah, so if he swings, I'll just kill him. Well, actually, I'll just take the two. Depends. If he pumps him up again, then I will. Then I'll kill him with victim of night. All right. I just want to keep those up for his bigger threats. Okay. Um. Uh, cancel. Need to find one of my threats. Okay, so let's go in snaring bridge. Okay, and that'll take care of any tarmogoyfs. Okay, so let's see here. What can my opponent do? Ancient grudge, <laughs> destroying artifact. Okay. Okay, nice top deck. What's he got? Inquisition. Okay, taking away my Victim of Night. Okay. Swing for three. Alright, so next turn I think I'll just languish. i got to get rid of this Monastery Swift Spear. Alright, uh, cancel. Ugh. Okay, could really use a Shrieking Affliction, but alright. Okay, so let's just get rid of that Swiss beer. Okay, and go. Come on, I need to get a rack. Okay, cancel. Blackmail. All right, well, let's see what you got. You become immense. All right. And go. So eventually he's going to draw like a Tarmogoy for a Wild Nakatl or something and I'm going to be unable to do anything about it. Wrench Mind. Alright. Um, let's go Raven's Crime. Tap. 
discarding isolated tra chapel. Okay, opponent had just a land. Okay. Seriously, like, a rack would just close this out so fast. <sighs> Raven's Crime. Discarding a swamp. Okay. My opponent got rid of another land. All right. Okay, so opponent has another card. Okay, cancel. <sighs> All right, well, we'll go Raven's Crime again. Okay. Opponent got rid of another land. All right. So we're just trading lands for lands. Okay, so basically it's whoever's going to get the first threat out. <sighs> okay, so keep him a uh, wrench mind on him. Okay, so opponent to another left. Uh Uh, all right, so Swiss Spear. All right, so now I need some removal. Okay, so he's going to swing for one. I can still race him if I get a rack or a, or even a Shrieking Affliction. All right, cancel. A smallpox. All right, well, tap two. Smallpox. Discard a card. Wrench Mind. All right. Sacrifice a land. All right, swamp. Okay, and go. <laughs> this is just the worst. All right, he's probably got an enchantment. Ah. Oh. All right, uh, Raven's Crime. On the target player, discarding a land. All right, so my opponent had yet another land. Oh, he had a Street Wraith. Okay. Cancel. Oh. Okay, well, at least I got the Raven's Crimes. And so every one of these lands is turning into a discard. Another Street Wraith. Okay. All right, at least it won't let him, like, ugh. Oh. A Tarmogoyf. All right. So, do I find the removal? <laughs> oh my god, this is just the worst. All right. So, he's going to recur his ancient grudge, though, and destroy that. All right. I think this is it. Oh, no, he's playing a Swift Spear? Okay, he must be recurring his ancient grudge. Yeah, for sure. All right. Concede. Oh, that was the worst. Just, I couldn't find any of my threats. Right? Like, not a single one. It's just, uh, oh, it's so awful. All right. Well, I think I was playing it pretty good. I wouldn't change it at all. Um, yeah, it's, you know, I just had the right removal for him and, you know, but I just didn't get any of my, any of my threats there. So, all right. I think I'll just run it back the way I did before. All right. So, yes, I'd like to play first. Okay, Victim of Night, the Rack, Languish, Dakmore Salvage. Okay, let's keep. So, I'm playing first. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to have to play a turn 1 uh, play the Rack. All right, before my opponent can thought seize it away. Okay, now he might have to burn a artifact removal to get rid of that. Okay, but at least I can do something. Okay, so hold on, it's looking at my hand. Cataxian probe is just so good. Okay, so two mana to be able to look at your opponent's hand and or two life to look at your opponent's hand and draw a card. Okay, so wild nacodle. All right, so let's go turn two. 
we'll just leave up our mana. Okay, and see if he pumps as well in the coddle. If he does, then I'll just languish. Or I'll just a uh, victim of night. Okay, if he casts a thought seize, I'll also victim of night in in uh, response. I'll take two. Okay. Okay. A thought seize. All right. So we'll go tap two. Victim of Night. He'll probably take my Ensnaring Bridge. Oh, Languish, really? Okay. And what's he got out? Fooding Mandrels. All right. All right, so let's go um, God the Shrine. Yes, and we'll pay tap 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 for ensnaring bridge. Okay, and go. So that's going to protect me for a short time, unless he's got some artifact destruction. Yeah, which he does. Okay, while the coddles. Oh, that's going to hurt. All right, so taken four. I need to pick up some more removal pretty quick here. Okay. Isolated Chapel is not what I was looking for. So, Wrench Mind. Have my opponent go empty handed. I'm still taking seven a turn, where he's taking only f uh, three. So, I'm going to have to find something to help me out. Should I play this land or not? Um, I think I should. Because if I have a if I get a languish, I'm gonna to need to have it out to play it, so. Alright. So he's just got on a faster clock than I have. There's some outs that I have. Oof, that's harsh. Okay, so he's doing eight. Gonna destroy my rack. Okay, nine damage. Oof, this is hurting. Alright. Oh, and staring bridge. <sighs> All right. Okay, and let's just play this Dakmore Salvage. All right, and go empty-handed. All right, so my opponent has no artifact removal. One card in hand. Will I be able to win? Okay, with just with just my ancient uh, with just my ensnaring bridge. Okay, so let's tap. Oh, <sighs> okay, he can kill me with that, so I have to cast Raiden's Crime. All right, so now I need Shrieking Affliction or the Rack to come out pretty quick. All right, so now he's cycling. Okay, he's looking for artifact removal. Stupor. Okay. Okay, so target opponent discards a card. Discards his cards. Okay, so Bloodstained Mire, I'm fine with that. Alright. Now, if I can just find a rack, just find one rack, or one Shrieking Affliction, that's it. That'll be the game. Ah, oh, Raven's Crime, alright. I have to go empty handed every turn. Now, this is, it's kind of funny because it's coming out like just basically to the end is like, who's going to draw their threat first? Right, so if he can take down my, if he can take down my ensnaring bridge, then I'm pretty much done. Swamp. All right. Well, we will Raven's Cry my opponent. Pay one. Discard a swamp. Now, if he gets an ancient grudge, then I'm pretty much toast. Ah. <sighs> It's basically the same as last match, to say, like, okay, who's going to get their threat first? Okay, is he going to get the Ancient Grudge, or am I going to get, or will I get uh, oh, another bridge? Okay, that's good. So, double bridge is nice, although Ancient Grudge can still take out both bridges. 
All right, so opponents, what's he got? Swamp. All right, so we will go uh, Raven's Crime. Force him to discard his Swamp, or discard whatever land he has. Okay, so what do you have? That's the Inquisition. All right. Okay, come on. Just give me a rack. One rack or one, <laughs> or one Shrieking Affliction. That's all I need. Ah, oh, yes! Ugh. And that, I believe, is it. Just got lucky. Oh, GG. Alright, so, so close against this uh, Zoo deck. But, anyways, great match against my opponent. Just show that 8 Rack is actually pretty competitive. Uh, you know, it can beat the Tier 1 decks. But, you know, it's it's not actually, it's not a close game. Or, sorry, it's not a, like, doesn't just blow them out. It's going to be close. So, anyways, um, hope you liked watching this one. I really enjoyed playing this one. Uh, if you do like these videos, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, if there's any suggestions you might have, throw them into the comments. I'm always willing to listen to comments, and I love hearing what you guys have to say. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.